people, this is Keith Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. And I just realized uh, uh, that's very close to being destroyed. A lot of my armor has been destroyed, just wear and tear. So I need to make myself some armor. But, but I don't know if we'll get to that today. Um, so today is going to be some odds and ends. First off, I want to make uh, some... Coke oven bricks, 26. And then the rest of this we will pull out and put away. Okay. And I'm gonna grab some wood and install this downstairs. Because I want to have a supply of uh, creosote oil. So just throw the wood in there and let it do its thing, right? So it'll turn it into charcoal, and this will, this tank here will fill up with creosote oil. And I'll also note that uh, there's no more um, Curtis Quartz seeds in that uh, block of water. They've all I actually uh, originally there were just 20, then I threw in 64 more, so they've tr all been turned into pure Curtis pure Curtis Quartz crystal, which we will turn into. Um, which we are going to turn in, or which we, are, which we are going to use to make various things for applied energistics. That was the reason for doing that. Um, so, which means that I want to do the first step of applied energistics. Uh, I we're not going to really get too far into it today, but we're going to do the first, the very first step, which is to go acquire a few things for that you need to, to do things in applied energistics, but that you cannot craft. You have to find in the world. Um, namely the um, inscribing plates. I think they're, yeah. There's there's a ins well inscriber calculation press. These are like plates that you put in this block that allows you to make certain things. Anyway, so you have to find these. You can't craft them, and we need a really good pick for this also. So. Um, So I made one off camera uh, with Tinker's Construct. This is a steel pickaxe. It has, it can um, mine up to cobalt, and it has a high mining speed. I didn't know steel could be so high. Um, and I put so I put silky silk touch moss and redstone on. All right, I put redstone on it so it'd be faster. So this should be a pretty good pick. Whoops, I didn't need to put. I didn't need to put redstone on it in order or. Um, or the moss or anything, or the silky touch. I guess I should say the silky touch in particular. Silky touch not re it's not required for this, but I thought I'd put it on. Anyway, because of course I'll use the pick for other things. Okay, I also made some, well, let's see, I made this nice hedge here uh, to, you know, beautify things a little bit in our front entrance. I put up some arcane lamps to light things up so things look a little nicer. We don't have torches all over the floor, in here. at least in here. I have to make more things like that to get rid of these torches out here. I put one up there for the tree. Okay, and, and as we fly by, you'll see I change things a little bit uh, on the uh, on the pyramid. There we go. The altar now is up on top of another little pyramid because when once it's all built out to tier level six, eventually, <laughs> um, I think it'll look nicer that way. So we're right now we're flying over to the site of a meteor because these things I want to find the inscription plates are in the middle of meteors, and you'll see when it, we've seen them before flying around. They they actually can be underground also, but of course it's a lot easier to find them above ground. You don't you just you know need to fly nearby and you see them. They're quite obvious. There we go. You can see it on the mini map right now. There's actually two here right next to each other. 
when uh, when much smaller the actually we probably should do the smaller one because that'll be faster oops I messed up a little bit there oh some squid died okay so the thing is is that in the middle of this meteor is going to be a chest and it is uh, put on Moila. This is called Sky Stone, you know, because it's a meteor. And the sky, is, the sun is going down. So, um, okay, that wasn't too bad. That is the sky chest already. See, this is a small meteor, so it didn't take very long to get in there. Okay, so the sky chest is just a little bit lighter in color than the sky stone. And uh, we're going to open it up. And here is the silicon press plus some copper. Okay, fine. And I don't know, I might as well pick up the chest. Uh, I guess it's going to take a little while. There we go. And and now we'll get out. Now let's see what the other one is. What's in the other one? This one is going to take a little longer to break into because it's larger. Okay, so we want to get about in the middle, right? And this looks pretty close. So this is just gravel. There it is. And here we have an engineering press and some tin. And I'll pick up this one also. There we go. And There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I, now I need two more. There's so I've got the I've got the uh, silicon press and the engineering press. I also need the calculation press and the logic press. Inscriber name press. I don't know what you use that for, but you don't need it. Okay, and of course I have to make this. Before we can use these things, um, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go look for more. Well, actually, I've already put. I've already placed uh, in, on the map. I found other meteors and I've noted them. I just have to go fly to them, you know, look them up here. Here's one. That's where we'll go next. That's not too far. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fly to other. Meet, find other meteors, fly to them like this one, and um, dig into them and get the rest until I have the rest of the presses. I'm going to do that off camera and then I will be back. Okay, I've returned to my base here. I did successfully find all the presses we need. I got some extras, of course, too, because it's distributed randomly. So uh, I got four of the engineering presses, and anyway. So, um, so here we go. Um, first, I want to grab some. Some chests, which I have some extra chests. I have lots of extra chests now, actually. Let's see. Here they are. Why did I make so many? It was just so easy. Um, so I think. Oh, yeah. So uh, we need to make an engineering press. I think. No, inscription press. Uh, inscriber? Something. It's called something. Let me look it up here. I guess I needed A and S in there. Okay, we need to make this, the inscriber. Okay, so uh, I have all the things we need except for the, the flux crystal. And you make a flux crystal by dropping charcer's quartz, nether quartz, and redstone in a puddle. Just like you did with the, just like with the, that other thing, with, uh, the surge quartz. You drop surge quartz seeds and you get surge quartz, right? The difference here is that it takes a lot less time. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot less time. So, which is a, a very good thing. So I already have some in here, so I'm gonna drop that and that, and this is charged, so of course crystal has to be charged. And we step, step back a moment, and it turned into, whoops. Uh, there we go. Flux crystal. There we go. That's what I was trying to uh, mess it up here. Um, okay, so let's go ahead 
and make this thing. So uh, we need two uh, sticky pistons. I already made some pistons. Now I just need to make them sticky pistons. Okay, and then we go here. And so we've got the flux crystal. It could be either pure or flux crystal and sticky pistons. And I've got some iron. So there it is. Now, since, well, the thing, so I'm already doing some applied energistic stuff here because this, that pool is for doing applied energistic stuff. The thing is, I don't know if this thing needs power. I would think it would, but I guess we'll find out by placing it down and see what happens. I don't know why that just is there. I don't remember. Well, okay, so let's look and see what are the first things we need to make is. Um, uh, I want to make I want to make a drive, which means we need in, an engineering process. So we need two of these. That is a printed circuit, a printed engineering circuit, which is the the inscribing engineering press with a diamond. So I need two of these. So I might just go grab two diamonds and see if we could do this. This will tell us if this thing needs power or not. Okay, so let me remind myself here. Oops, I clicked on the wrong thing. This, this, this. Okay, so the press goes in the top, and the thing you're, that is going to be pressed is in the middle. So I want the... Uh, is it engineering? Yeah. Okay, so... I don't know why I was up there. Okay, so the engineering goes there, and the diamond goes there. And it looks like nothing is happening. You can see the diamond in the middle. That's kind of cool. Okay, so this thing does need power. <coughs> Which is kind of what I thought. Now, uh, how much... The question is, how much... Um, how much cabling do I have? <coughs> so I can run it over here. So I've been using... I've been using applied energistic stuff here. So oh, there's some item conduits. Oh, here we go. Engineering conduit. That is probably not enough. Well, for now, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right next to the dynamos or uh, steering wheel engine engines. I mean, since there's already power here. Uh, oh, I gotta pick it up. Actually, I need to put it right over here, don't I? This is where. I guess I'll put it upstairs, huh? Well, I'm gonna put it there. This is temporary. I'll make some more of this conduit and run it over here. Because um, there's something else I want to do on this episode, so I don't want to spend much more time on this. Okay, so we put the engineering press there and the diamond there, and there we go. It's, it's taking power, and in a moment, I think we'll see the thing stamp it. Yes. And there we have a printed engineering circuit. We can do another one. And it'll stack right here. There. All right, so I'm gonna do get some of the stuff we need ready, and um, for the next episode, and we'll continue with the applied energistics then. Right now, though, I want to change gears, and um, let's see, did I put it in my inventory? No, I didn't. Well, let's put. That's there's enough room. Okay, I'm gonna put. Well, you know, it won't hurt. It won't hurt to put this stuff in here. Put that stuff in there for now. Okay. Um, I want to grab some cable. I thought I saw something. This cable, inventory cable, and we're gonna put it over here. So I want to move this station. Put it in another spot. 
and I'm under here. Oh, you know, I'm gonna have to move that. That's gonna mess everything up. I need more cable then. I wanted to do something else that's not really related to this, but I just wanted to reuse this to save resources. Maybe I could do it here. And we'll still do it over here. I'll just have to make more cable. So we're going to have to come under here. I have to go. Some uranium. I'll always take that. Okay. Okay, let's see how long will it take me to make some more cable. Okay, so, um, recipe. I thought that would do something for me, but it didn't do it. Oh well. Okay, so, oh, okay, so I need some gold, which I'm low on, but oh well. And I don't, so I just need four pieces of gold and some glass. Oh my gosh, I need to go mining, I guess. And some glass. What else? Probably some iron. And a piece of redstone. Which I'm also getting uh, I'm also getting low on redstone, but not so bad. Okay, so we take these and go like this. And then whoops. Oh my goodness. That wasn't, I'm not, normal, difficulty normal, wait, yeah, that shouldn't have happened, why did that happen, I wanted the recipe, that was very strange, it was like I was in cheat mode and I picked up a whole stack of them and then they disappeared, I guess any, I just freaked out for a moment, that, that was weird, there we go, that's what I wanted to do, okay, so now we got plenty of these things, So let's eventually, you know, I, since I have enough, I'll go all the way over here and we'll use this, we'll use that inventory because I, I do need another chest. Okay, because eventually I'm going to expand this out. We're just going to start off maybe with, oh, there's my timer. Okay, I want to, I want to do this though. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a couple of things off camera that I've made before and set them down and then I'll come back and explain what it is I want to do. Uh, what I'm going to make is an, in, 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 an igneous extruder and I've made that before. I already have one, right? Um, but if I could spell this. Okay, so this is from Thermal Expansion and uh, it's made thusly. And so I'm going to make uh, like, well, I'm going to make at least two. I would like to have four, but we will see. And then I will be back and set this up and uh, explain why. Okay, people, I'm back. I got all the stuff I need here for making igneous extruders. We got pistons, glass, machine frames, copper gears, and pneumatic servos. So I got enough for four. There we go, four. And then, so we're going to go downstairs. And we're going to place these right down here. All right, so um, now we need to fill them up. Uh, actually, first I think I'll go in here and turn off all these outputs. And then turn the one that's, um, the one on the bottom. Let's see, this, those are the sides. I think, I think this is the bottom, so I want to do that. Probably right clicking would be faster yeah there we go and then um, so I got a bucket here and I went in and I filled my one this is my hardened portable tank and I filled it up with lava so I could have plenty of lava so I put one in there one in there 
one in there, and one in there. So they all should have a lot in them. Now, I put this water source here that is temporary. I will, I will fill that in. And it, it should all be, they all, I think they're, when you make them, they default to making cobblestone, which is just what we want. We want just to make cobblestone. That's why I'm not bothering with having a aqueous accumulator or piping in lava or anything because when you're making cobblestone you don't use up either the lava or the water so just putting a but you know one bucket in there will work just fine okay and that is all we need to do as far as placing things down and putting things into machines now what we want to do is do a little programming in Steve's factory manager and hopefully this won't take too long so I'm gonna I'm gonna move these things over here and just keep them way out of I might redo this into a command group uh, because there's other things I want to add to it, but I wanted to reuse this one. So I'm going to make a I'm, make, I'm going to make a command group right here and put it over here, and I'm going to label this uh, compressed compressed. This is this whole thing is to make compressed cobblestone. So um, so we're going to need an input. and an output. Okay, and the first thing to do is just to move the, um, the cobblestone that these things make into this inventory over here. Since it's already here, I'm going to use it. I've got room here for three more in igneous, well, I guess four more igneous extruders, which is fine. I might do that eventually. We'll see how this thing does. Okay, so we're going to, okay, so there's only two inventories attached, to the, well, two chests. One is much further away, so we're going to go for the one the chest that is further away. So this is two blocks, two blocks away, and this one is 11 blocks. So this is the one we want. Actually, that's not what we want. This is the this is the input. So the input is from the igneous extruders. Excuse me. And the side, I did get them all, didn't I? And, and I wanted to do um, run command once for each per tar once per target. Yeah, that's what I want. And uh, the target is going to be the bottom. And the item, we're going to whitelist. We're only going to pull out one thing, and that is the cobblestone. You know what? Actually, we don't need... Let's not do that. Let's um, let's just do a blacklist. It'll pull out everything. <clears throat> and since it's making cobblestone, that's what I'll do. Okay, so that'll work. And then the output is going to be the chest that is further away. And the target is going to be up. And uh, we're going to just put anything in there right and we connect them and then set a trigger and I'm gonna set the trigger for two seconds and I'll change that after I have this all set up to something longer it doesn't need to have to do it so quickly okay so already if it should have pulled it out yes it did so this is gonna fill up with cobblestone right now there's not a whole lot of room in there you know, and I, but for what I'm going to be end up doing, this chest is going to be just fine. So that's the next thing is, I wonder if you can rename these things. Yes, you can. Uh, there we go. And now, okay, so next we need an input. And this is the first time I've done this, but let's see how it works and a crafter and and an output okay um, oh and I need to trigger too so let me get myself some more room trigger okay so the input is going to be the further chest the fur chest is further away and the targets gonna be up and I don't know if we need anything here so I'm gonna set it to blacklist for now and then the crafter yeah maybe we should make sure um, so we'll do a whitelist, and this is going to be cobble. 
and then we're gonna set this to cobble cobblestone 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 whoops cobblestone oh my goodness cobblestone 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 and it should tell us what the output is if it's valid a valid recipe and it is nine nine cobblestone gives you compre compressed cobblestone and then excess inventory is going to go into the chest that's further away there shouldn't be any excess inventory and that's all we need to do and then the output is going to be the same chest for that's 11 blocks further away and the target will be up and the items is a blacklist so what did i not do no direction is active active i forgot to click active um Okay, so let's set the set the interval to five seconds so we can see it's happening. And we're gonna call this compress. Right? I guess I should spell that right. Okay, so right now, just thinking it's filling up. Okay, so, um, so all I have to do is connect this and see if this works. There, it did it. It took five seconds, but it turned all the, as much of the cobblestone as it could, which was all of it except for seven, because, you know, it's less than nine. So it does, now, and now it's going to do more. There it did. There we go. Blah. So um, it's going to every five seconds it'll take all the cobblestone that's been accumulated and turn it into compressed cobblestone and now what I want to do right is create um, more of those uh, if we look in NEI there's a uh, compressed cobblestone double compressed triple compressed quadruple compressed quintuple compressed that's five times sextuple six times Septuple, seven times. Octuple, which is eight times. And there's no nine times? I guess not. Ooh. Oh, wait. There is no. Oh, right, right. Octuple? Right. Smelting. Black of. Okay. So it is eight times. I thought there was a nine times, but there's just eight. So I want to do. I'm going to do more of these, just like this one, only they're going to do, um, they're going to do uh, each one of those. And why, why do I want that? Well, there's various things you can make with um, a bedrockium ingot, quadruple, that uses a bunch of diamond. Yes, there's various things you can make with these. It, most importantly, this is this is the one I want. Is the the portal to the the portal to the deep dark? Yes, and and then bedrockium, and you can use bedrockium for various things. I guess we should look that recipe up. Um, thought. Oh no, you smelt it. Where was it? There we go smelt it and you get a block of bedrockium and this you get this okay so what can you do with this you can make this the bedrockium drum and the water reinforced watering can which I'm not gonna do because it takes a solid fragment but the bedrockium drum well, that's kind of cool I might try that out but the first thing is the portal to the deep dark um, so uh, I want to turn, I want to set this up so it'll just compress all that stuff as much as possible all the time. And I'm going to, I'm going to set that up off. I'm going to set the rest of those off. Blah. I'm going to set the rest of those up off camera and then I'm going to come back and show it and that will be the end of the episode. Okay, so I'll be back as soon as I have that ready. <clears throat> all right, I'm back. You know, I should move that George. I didn't even notice it was there. Put it right here. Uh, put it right there. And I guess I should double check. We don't have something spawning. So, oh, you know what? I might not need torches down here. 
I'll, I'll check on that later. Since I have the arcane lamps upstairs, they not only light up the area around them, but, I don't know, which is out to, I don't know, five, six or seven or something, but anything out to 16 blocks that are not lit up enough, which it only checks when it does get dark enough in those spots, you know, like at night, maybe. Anyway, it sends out, it takes a little while, but it sends out light particles to those spots too, uh, including through walls. Uh, so they could be lighting up stuff down here. Uh, I'll have to check how far away everything is. Well, anyway, <coughs> let's see. So this episode is going a little long. So, so here we go. I used a flow control. Right now, I have it turned off. There's no connection here. So these, none of these things are running right now. Th right now, this thing is just, oops, this thing is just sending cobblestone in here. Um, there is a bunch of compressed cobblestone in there. Compressed, but then it, so right now it's just a compressed and regular cobblestone in there um, and so we've got uh, I used a flow control one input to five outputs that's the most you can have it's set to uh, so if I want you know above quintuple compressed I'll have to add some more stuff but um, so it's split it's split and it's sequential I haven't tested this yet but I'm hoping sequential means that it'll it'll go down one line and then the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one so they'll all get done <clears throat> the reason for using the split just mostly is just to make um, this thing easier to read and more, you know, and not just stuff everywhere. Because I could have I could have done a separate one like this or with a separate trigger for each one. Maybe, and maybe I will if this doesn't work. I don't know. Um, so, so we got each all the stuff here on the top. Those are all inputs. The ones that this is compressed, double, triple, quad for quadruple, quint for quintuple, triple for triple, quint. Is that? Well, anyway, um, so so that's the input com crafter and the output, just like just like for the first one I did. So and then if we look into crafting, um, we see this one does compressed. This one does double compressed. This one does triple compressed. This one does quadruple compressed. And this one, which is right on the edge, which is a little bit annoying, does quintuple compressed. I have to hit just the right spot. Okay, so let's see if this works. I have the interval set to 10 seconds, so we have plenty of time to get over here and look at it happen. Okay, so hopefully we will, we will be able to do that. Okay, so here to here, come over here. Okay, so in a few seconds, we should see all of that stuff get compressed down. There! That happened really fast <laughs> when it actually gets to it. Okay, so we got four triple compressed. And each one of these is 729 cobblestone. So 729 times four, anyway. So, and if we look at, we're up to this. So this thing right now is set up to make quintuple compressed cobblestone. And that's, you know, almost 60,000 cobblestone in just one block. and a, and uh, so if we let this run and run, it's going to fill up, it'll eventually fill up, you know, with quintuple, all except for the last, last one, which will always, well, a couple of them will probably always have other things uh, from leftover crafting operations. But, uh, you know, that's a lot of cobblestone in just this one chest. And the reason for doing that, of course, is to, <coughs> excuse me, is all to be able to make the portal to the deep dark as well as bedrock in which isn't crucial but would be kind of cool to try out but i really of course we want to be able to mine in the deep dark so there you go there's that um so that is uh so i'll just let this run i that's why i wanted to do this is i really should have done this before but i just you know this is going to take a while it's going to take a while to get um the blocks we need to make the portal to the deep dark so um I wanted to have this up so it can just keep on running while we're doing other things. So this has been Keith Modesto. The next episode will continue with applied energistics and uh, hopefully get a hard uh, the drive set up with 10. What I want is to have sent 10 of the 4K storage units, storage storage disk drives, and uh, start moving all my stuff into an applied. A very, very simple, probably about the simplest, well, not quite the simplest, but pretty close to the simplest system that you could have uh, just to get, you know, my inventory under control. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.